Welcome back to Wartime's European Frontline and welcome back to the Soviet Frontline. We have to bring our, our super heavy K2 tank over to this village here, which is not going to be easy because it's defended somewhat well, but we also have to secure resources first. So let's go down here with the, this heavy guy here establish our base yeah we do have this k2 tank here i'm not quite sure what kind of model that is i know one of the heavier soviet tanks was the stalin tank but i did some intensive research by which i mean i checked the wikipedia page on world war ii soviet tanks i couldn't really find any of these but to be fair k2 is not a kai as you would enter it into the search engine uh, or KII is not exactly the best thing to search for. Yeah, this guy here is super slow, but also super powerful. 160 damage, or 160 attack power versus 12. And we're also going to need this guy in the beginning because the Germans are going to send quite a lot of stuff after us. They get free reinforcements. So we have to watch out. Later on they send stronger stuff as well, so we'll, we'll have, to, have to see what the best way to handle this is. For now you stay here and you can take on these guys here. And our range is also pretty good. I think this guy here should die in four hits. Yeah, it sure does. There we go. Boom. Flamethrower guy still survives one hit. I'm okay with that. And this guy here has 1200 hit points, which is a lot of hit points, as you will have noticed. Okay, so what we're going to do here is... Yeah, we can already establish our base. This is going to take about forever. You're going to defend the base in the meantime. And I could send you over there, but I'm not quite sure whether I can actually liberate... You know what? Let's see whether I can liberate the oil wells in the meantime. I might lose everyone here, but to be honest, I don't really need these guys here anyway. So nobody cares. And of course, I also need... I really wish I could just build supply stores while while I'm building my headquarters, please. I could build a second headquarters and get 10 more more pop for that, but that's just not worth it. In any case, let's see. We might actually do a comparison of attack power here. I want to move careful because, so these guys here are comparable. I don't want to alert all of these guys here at the same time. That's just a bad idea. Just some of them, but not all of them, please. Okay, so your turn. So they do have a comparable amount of guys here, but with some luck I can can take out their guys sort of kind of one by one. So you are not quite done. So there's, I think there's a chance that I will pull this off, but uh, we'll have to see. Could be close. Yeah, but I think I might just about pull this off. In any case, yeah, I think we can we can do this. Yeah, we can definitely do this. We have four guys left. We might lose one or two, but that should still be fine. You're almost ready as well. In this case, you can you can actually hang out here and defend this in case this needs defending, which it may or may not. By the way, we can't rebuild this guy here. So we have to watch out that we don't accidentally lose that guy because that's going to be the end of us. Okay, I think I'm only going to build these oil pumps here. And you cost uh, 200. That's too risky. Then I could only build one worker. That just makes me nervous. So let's just not do that. You stay here. I definitely want repair guy. Because otherwise... Uh, I, you, I think it's unlikely that this guy here gets destroyed. But how about we just don't risk that. So, and this guy can get more upgrades if we get the right laboratory. I actually think doing one of the other missions I did accidentally build I think only research laboratory and instead of research in the military laboratory or start with one one of the two it doesn't really matter I think I did that accidentally and then was wondering why I didn't get those upgrades it doesn't really matter and yeah th these guys here are going to have no chance against this guy good take some damage here but it's generally going to be fine one two three four five six so we're burning but that's fine we're still going to destroy these guys here fast enough. And yeah, there we go. And once we have an adequate amount of workers, we can also get our defense headquarters and can get some towers up and running here. That should help as well. So yeah, sooner or later the, the Germans will also send Jagdpanzers 
uh, those are going to be a, a credible threat to this guy. So we have to watch out for those. You might want to build maybe more of them, but we'll have to see whether we can even access more of these. Because they said you have to bring a K2 to this, this position here, not the K2. Let's see. All right, let's get our defense HQ, our little Kremlin here. We can build a shipyard. I don't think okay, don't think that there's any point in doing that at this point, but let's see. Well, actually, let's not see because there's mountains here. There's essentially a swamp, fields, water, and mountains. That's kind of it. There's no real point in us building one, two, three, four, five, six. No, there we go, six building any ships here unless we have like super long range cruisers that can hit stuff here but let's face it that's just not going to happen all right let's get that other pump jack here a bit more expensive than the german one but or the british one yeah i think the british one but then again we don't need to send any workers over there so it's actually cheaper because it also doesn't cost us pop which is pretty nice if you ask me all right so let's get on with it and we do get the airfields in this mission here which is also nice almost there but now that we have two fully staffed okay so more of this that's still okay but we definitely want that repair truck soonish well we want these towers here we probably want the towers yeah we can get those soonish as well because we are burning and we're going to get a little bit weaker every single time so we want to make sure that we don't don't get ourselves killed at one point. So now that this wave here is gone, we can take the opportunity and bring in some defenses. What does it actually say on that? I don't know. If you if you can read Cyrillic, well Russian and Cyrillic, then well Russian in the Cyrillic alphabet, then feel free to leave a translations below in the comment section. Also probably want one more of you at least uh, more of you later naturally and yeah a bunch more towers once we have like four or five of those they can actually take care of the light tanks as well but more about that once we have the resource for that and got a second pump jack that's neat because that's going to double the oil flow how much oil do we have here and uh, not that much actually how many resources do we have here minerals uh, also not that much but it's going to be okay that said, yeah, can I even build this here? Doesn't look like it. But maybe you can only build it in deep water. You know what? Doesn't really matter. Let's get the power plant up and running. And let's get that barracks also up and running. And you can actually stay behind these until I get a repair guy to repair you. And I think I want one or two more of these. One thing I noticed is that if a tower gets damaged, you order to be repaired, it repairs to full health, then it's still... Okay, you have to help out here now. It still will auto-repair the next time it gets damaged, which is pretty convenient, if you ask me. So there we go. These guys here should fall quickly enough. Construction completed. And... Same goes with the flamethrower guys because those are actually slow. They're so slow, and they're not only slow with regard to movement speed, they also need to forever to actually start attacking. Which seems to be quite a quite a downside. But once they start attacking, they just melt away everything. Occasionally they literally melt away stuff. But anyway. Construction completed. There we go. Let's get our light vehicle factory. Just for the repair guy, I don't really need anything else. Why are you standing there? You should have returned to your position, but never mind. Make some progress here. Uh, you guys can stay there, or can you? You know what, I'm actually going to order you back to base. Or do I? You know what, no, you stay here. for. <laughs> nope, can't make up my mind. Alright. What's next? Laboratory. Yes, please. And we want both a, a research and a military laboratory, so I think we're just going to build two of these right away. Construction completed. And then also a heavy factory because we do... Wait a second. Oh yeah, uh, light tank factory. Not not light vehicle factory, just light tank factory. Because we can build that straight away. We don't even need to wait for the light vehicles factory to be finished because we're the Soviets. We can just do that. 
Aircraft are very effective against enemy defenses. They are indeed, and we are going to build some aircraft. Once we have the laboratory, do we need a? Sp yeah, we do need a research laboratory for that, not a military one. Even though both do research, but details. And so you are. You have more than half your health. That's neat. And wow, this this is being built slowly. But okay. We can live with that. I don't recall this being so slowly. I do recall this this being being faster and one of the other missions. I was admiring how fast the Soviet stuff is being built. Maybe I was just imagining that. Construction completed. It doesn't really matter too much. Do we need an academy? I don't think we do. So, research completed. laboratory. Yep, and military laboratory. Also, yes, please. That was somewhat fast. Okay, pl you please, please finish. I'm really impatient here. And the aircraft guns, I don't think we need any of those. Let's just build one of them. Just because. This one is actually better than the British gun, I think. But it's also it's also more expensive. 200 versus 125. There's that. Almost there. Getting there. Come on. Construction and boom. Alright. Repair truck is on its way. Kind of surprised the Soviets don't have any like, anti-infantry vehicle. No light vehicle. But then again... It's probably good that they do do have some variety here between factions. Also, I like how, how synchronized this is. It's more synchronized than I would have expected based on the fact that I didn't really... I didn't do this simultaneously. Well, anyway. What did they even construct? Oh yeah, the, the heavy factory. Mm -hmm. So we can improve that as well. So we do need a military laboratory for that. Let's actually get that improvement and then let's get an airport or two. So you can repair this guy here. That should keep us safe for the foreseeable future. And how expensive is that airport? 250. Yep. Let's get that. Oh, so you're running out of energy here and then you're just re-repairing that guy. That's fine. No, not the motorcycles. And now they're all dead. Yeah, this is what I mean. So this was already repaired, but now it's auto-repairing itself, which is neat. And these guys here stand no chance whatsoever. Sweet. But they will send heavier stuff at one point, and we have to be prepared for that. How many kills do you have? 25. Not bad. Also, you can actually improve that guy's gun for 700 minerals and 700 fuels. I think that's the most expensive thing in general. Even the... Lancaster Bomber only costs 600 and 600, so there's that. And we can also improve the stats here with this stuff here, but I think I'm going to beef up this guy. Also against uh, later attacks, and then we're going to go for some planes too. Just want to see how insanely strong this guy here can get. 160 attack powers are already a lot. Yeah, I'm looking, looking forward to using more of these guys here in the future. You can just hang out here and recover a little bit. Yeah, I'm really tempted to just get this this upgrade here. It will also take a while, so we probably should get it soon-ish. And there we go. Then we can also get the tank health and armor upgrade. Those aren't that expensive compared to the 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 gun upgrade. But yeah, this this one here is going to take quite a while, and specifically for this tank here, which is also neat. All right, you're almost fully repaired. Let's just magically repair you to full health and then you will be sent over here and you're going to fix those guys here up fully even though it's going to take a while because your energy well your energy does regenerate faster than the improvement completed that is awesome does regenerate let's see how many hit points you can get let's see and the airport is still on development so or under construction rather and boom you're under attack And once more, auto repair, very convenient. Could be a bug, I'll consider it a, a feature. And here you can you can fix these guys here. So our hit points transferred, I don't think they're transferred one to one, but it's not really that important to be honest. You run into the fire here. And wow, these upgrades. Did these upgrades take so long? I, I always thought that the building and everything was faster. So what do we have here? So we can build a T-34 
34, that's nice, but I think we might build one or two of these as support. Yeah, because I really don't want to lose this guy here, and these guys here are just not worth it. And then we're going to go for some planes. You just stay here. So what's the deal here? So we are fine. Yeah, two of these should should definitely be able to defend this base here for the longest time, especially with the support of this guy here and with them not sending anything super heavy at the time. Are you really th that big that you can't fit? You know what, whatever. So that's said and done. Let's get some Petli Yakov bombers or maybe some Yakovlev fighters probably the the latter this well this takes long but it's okay and also wow you are fa you're way faster than i remember you being which is also great yeah are you I, do you actually have a you might have a better uh -huh, i'm not quite sure whether you have a better money to firepower ratio we'll have to see about that but your your range is significantly worth in any case let's get some bombers yeah, this is going to take a while but let's see. Can't wait to see how, how much stronger this guy here gets. And how much more health this guy here gets. I, I think it's a percentile increase. The infantry hit points are a fixed increase, but I'm pretty sure this, this one for tanks was percentile. Or maybe it's per, per unit specified. Who, now, who knows? In any case, let's get... This is a bit of an odd system, so they only sub subtract the... How much pop do you cost anyway? They only subtract the the cost for pop once you once the unit actually enters the field, which has the side effect of you can actually you see, yeah you can stay behind this tower here if you being able to build units and then suddenly you have to interrupt the construction, but it's fine. So these upgrades here are on their way. I guess, can we queue these up? No, we, can, we can't even queue them up. We can only queue them, sort of queue them up if we accidentally did that before. It doesn't really matter. We're still waiting here, but it's fine. We'll be patient because this is wartime's European frontline and you have to be patient to play this game. You can actually play the game at a higher speed, but it, it gets slightly glitchy in my experience. And it also means that everything is more difficult to control. And these units are already strong. In some missions, it means you, half your base can get dismantled in seconds if you don't pay attention. And we don't really want that for obvious reasons. So did we get... Is this still being researched? I'm going to get to that. But before we invest... Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so the bomber's highly effective. That's nice to know. Which is probably for the better because we built them. I like how the game always takes you, tells you everything after the fact. Uh, which I guess is still nice. In any case, ah, oh, that range. Look at that range. 37 kills. No kills. Because this guy's this, this guy is also the number one kill stealer I have. Okay, so how... It, hmm. I thought you got a, a more powerful gun. So what's the deal with that? Huh. Is it just... Hmm. Well, whatever. Maybe this more powerful and it's just not shown? I guess we'll see once they attack again, because I think I can vaguely recall when... You go You go in back to position, well done. I can vaguely recall when... Let's also check your armor, three and four. When... Or how many shots they needed for that. So anyway, let's get you. And you have, yeah. So you got, uh, so you got twenty percent more hit points. I think you did as well. So that 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 seems to work out just fine. Bombers are still on their way. Do I want another airport? Possibly, but yeah. Let's let's get another one of these. And once we have a couple more of these, we're going to send them out and bomb some stuff because the Germans do have anti-air, so we want to be careful there. But at the same time. Our bombers are fairly powerful, and the German anti air isn't as strong as ours, so we should be fine there. Alright, so far so good. What I... whatever. 
Let's not question it. We could also get the the help, the energy upgrade for this guy here, but let's see about that once we get to it. And you please get get ready. I know I could send them out already, but I want four of those just in case. Yeah, I think that is he destroys these guys here now in one shot with, and which I think didn't happen before. But we have to see. But then again, we also have tower support su support of these guys here, so I could just be imagining that. Okay, you're almost ready. That is nice. Also, like how we can build more of these, provide you we haven't filled up all the slots yet, which also actually we can even do that if you have filled up all the slots, as it seems. Okay, I'll take it. Please get over here. And anything else you want? No, this is just the Katyushka upgrade and we don't really care for that because I'm not going to utilize those. They're fairly slow. They don't really seem to be better than my my anti-tank tanks. So I'm not going to bother. You can actually gather here for a moment. And we'll see about... see about you being concentrated here that's better and then let's fly over here there's artillery here there there are leopolds which is also why you don't just want to walk in here you might actually lose your heavy tank for that because i'm not quite sure whether you can reach these mountains here but we'll have to see so there we go so let's blow up that entire air this should also hit the the leopold and looks like one bombing run can bring these guys down and this guy's already half dead in addition to that which is nice boom there we go and before we destroy you let's move on to these anti-air guns here well done and you and i think then we can return home or oh, actually since they don't have seem to have any other anti-air i think we are good then again let's build a bunch more of you do I even need that many? I guess it doesn't really matter all that much, does it? Okay, you can destroy that, please. Yeah, the air almost never seems to have mobile anti-air. And do we even want more bombers? So maybe get two more and then let's get a couple more of you. So I think I could use some some additional protection for my... We are under attack for my uh, super heavy tank here. Okay, you can bomb a couple more of these guys here if you would like to. There we go. Mace, uh, these guys here could be easily taken out by the tanks I have right now, but you know what, why risk it if we don't have to? Do we... Are we st yeah, we're still researching the tank armor here. Where are... What are you guys doing there? And where's my... Uh, did we lose one of these? If so, how? Maybe they sent some heavier stuff after us. Doesn't really matter, let's return to base. Huh, okay, now I'm slightly concerned here. Construction completed. Now I am slightly concerned because apparently you lost a guy here. 52 kills, not bad at all. Also, yeah still researching stuff here yeah i'm not going to risk it maybe they, maybe they even get more guys when you come close with your unit that could be the case so you're yeah, not going to risk it let's get you into a battle into a battalion here and you are ready as well so we're going to send you out again you can destroy those bunkers now that we have the planes we might as well utilize them what do you need for you Oh, and I need an academy for that guy? Really? Never mind. Five armor, and so it just improves the armor by one, but that is fine with me. There we go. You guys are dead now. Awesome. Don't really need to, for you to be, need to wait for you to be repaired because... Okay, you can get over here and destroy this. Because... Oh, there's no anti air left anyway, and the as said before, the AI never seems to utilize mobile anti air. I've barely used it because it's almost out of control, and some factions don't even have it. And I, I found it fiddly to use, and there were only so many missions where the AI even had air units anyway. So you can return home, please. Thank you. 
and yeah, I may as well get this one here, even though I guess that's not terribly necessary, is it? All right, we've got a bunker two here, bunker three actually. Yeah, you're not going to last long. Not even, yeah, we don't even need a full run for that. Then let's destroy you. So what do we have here? Oh dear, we've got the hunter tanks here. These guys here are a bit more of a threat. Thank you for destroying those. Yeah, that's a, that, those guys are a credible threat. Okay, you can get over here. Speaking of credible threat, we've got our air force here. Did we get rid of those tanks? We did not. Oh, you're almost unscratched. Well, that's going to change now. Ah, uh, almost. And there are... Flamethrower. There's a lot of flamethrower guys here. They did that on purpose. Okay, time to murder all of you. Just going to leave, leave that to the tanks. Resource depleted. Un that's unfortunate, but you can still gather stuff. You just gather it at a lower rate, which I'm okay with. Okay, so what we're going to do is... What are we going to do, actually? Can we, we could just drive through there now. That should be fine, but should maybe wait until one of their attacks has has like has finished just so we can make sure that we don't run into any bad surprises such as multiple hunter tanks or so because that would be rather bad and i think we can almost kill everyone here okay so let's see oh so yeah like this these guys here again uh, not that big of a problem but a credible threat okay everybody attack that guy Oh, you're in that group as well. You weren't even supposed to be in that group. But you know what? Since we're here, may as well fix you. And let's get one or two more of you. Because we do have the resources. Or do we? But we don't have the supply stores. But that's also okay. Because we're going to build more of them. And nope. That's... <laughs> didn't want to, didn't mean to build that, that part just on the land. But thanks for trying. Okay, so those guys are still there, That's, but you should return home now. And then let's just move north with you guys. You, you can gather here for the time being, let's not overdo it. But you can follow and maybe, maybe fix stuff or whatever. I'm still waiting for the AI to just throw a bunch of tanks at me, like we had it in the in the Kursk mission. That's okay, they're on, they're on their way. In the Kursk mission where we got a bunch of tanks out of nowhere and then they got a bunch of tanks out of nowhere and they actually killed all my tanks. So there are... Construction completed. You can get up there as well. You can fix this guy here. If you would please. Pretty please. And... There we go. Are oh, we under attack? We are under attack. So these guys here. Where do these guys even come from? From here? Probably. That's kind of the only way where they can come from. Okay, time to move through here. If we can do that. Not convinced we can. Can we just break through here? Hello? Can we attack this? Okay. How do we... I'm confused. New technology anyway, wait, can we can we go through the mountains here somewhere? I'm pretty sure we were just supposed to break through here. Well, whatever. Maybe we can bomb this. Seems unlikely, but who knows? Okay, what's the deal here? I mean, come on, this you can just crush that gate. That's not that hard. Oh great, now these guys here are coming for us here. That is just not great at all. Because they're going to destroy all of our defenses. Okay, uh, planes, you need to intervene here. Otherwise it's just going to end uh, very badly for us. You should be able to, to murder these guys here fast enough, I hope. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, yeah, they destroyed everything. So what's the deal with this with this gate here? Can we can we just break through here with this guy? Is this guy the only one who can break through here? Is that the idea here? Knock knock. 
Yep. That's sh sure how it is. That's good, because then we can just ignore our base. You can stay here as defense if you would like to, and we're just going to build these here for good measure. And we're real low on resources, but it doesn't matter because we've got this in the bag now. Are there even any any German defenders left here? I don't think there are. But I've got one tank here. Okay, so you can just stop and you get over here slowly but surely. Interesting that they make it like this, but uh, understandable. If you could build these, we also could build a tank factory here, but well, whatever. And there we go. And we need that specific tank in that specific position. Anyway, that was it. That wasn't too bad. The yeah, Soviets seem to be somewhat balanced. Injury is... Injury is pretty okay. Tanks are good. So, uh, then again, in, like with the British, we didn't even get to build the super heavy tanks. But you know what? Who cares? Thanks for watching. See you next time.